So here we go, this is what I bought for the week ahead. It seems like quite a lot, but not at the same time, as you'll see as we go along. So the first thing I bought is a loaf of bread. I wouldn't normally get wholemeal bread, um, but I thought it would be slightly healthier this week. And that was 49 pence. Next thing is tea bags. I drink a lot of tea. I wouldn't normally go again for the savers option, but we'll see how they go. Um, I drink multiple cups of tea and coffee in a day and I decided to go with tea bags as an option there. They were 55 pence. So to go with the tea bags I've got, I've got a small thing of milk. Now that won't last me a week. But that was 50 pence for the milk. So some, I felt like I needed to get some kind of vegetables so I've got, I got a head of broccoli that was 49p. That should last quite a while, it's quite, I tried to find like the biggest one on the shelf. So another one I've got here should be good. It should do me two meals, this with hopefully, and it will be really filling. This is a jar of curry sauce. This was 28p. Hopefully it's not too sweet. The next thing that I got, now I was gonna get lemon curd, but they didn't have any lemon curd. I thought it would be a slightly better option, but. They didn't have it, they were sold out, so instead I just got some strawberry jam there and that was 28 pence. The next thing I've got is a lonely baking potato. I'm going to have a jacket potato, I think, at some point and that was 21 pence for one potato there. And following on our theme is a very lonely, quite, doesn't look that great, but it's one carrot and that was a whole three pence. Now, I'm someone who snacks a lot and I didn't think I'd be able to get through this week without some kind of snack, so I made sure that I could get something. I decided that this week that would be milk chocolate digestive, you know, on a night time when you're just feeling a bit rubbish or a bit tired, or maybe in mid-afternoon when you need that bit of pick-me-up. These were 45 pence for a packet of chocolate digestives. The, the next thing to show you is a tin of plum tomatoes. They were 28 pence. Lots of things are 28 pence, it feels like. The next thing is a tin of vegetable soup. This is 24 pence. The tin's a bit, bit bad at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. So that was 24 pence, and I actually have two of those in here for lunches. A tin of baked beans, a small tin of baked beans, that was 25 pence. Garden peas. So again, trying to get some kind of vegetables in there. That was 21 pence for that tin of garden peas. The next one here is a tin of creamed rice pudding. I thought I could maybe have like half of that for breakfast one morning and pretend to myself that it's porridge instead. I eat quite a lot of porridge for breakfast normally. So yeah, I thought this would be, I don't know. I don't know how I've got to that from there, but let's, let's hope that it's not too bad. The creamed rice pudding was 20 pence. Maybe with like a bit of a dollop of jam in it and it won't be quite so bad. Um, I've also got a tin of peach slices. They were 33 pence. That's the other tin of vegetable soup there. And then the final tin is a tin of chickpeas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, might be a bit random, but I'm gonna make a curry from the curry sauce, the tin of chickpeas, which was 33 pence, and the tin of garden peas and have that as like a bit of a veggie curry and maybe even put the, the carrot in it as well just for some kind of, I don't know, alternative. And then the other thing, now I wish I'd bought more bananas but I didn't, I bought three bananas. They cost me 28 pence. I thought they'd be more than that actually so I could have definitely got a few more. I could have got six really but never mind. So I got three bananas there. Then, kind of a staple of the week, I got long grain rice, I got, this is the only savers rice option there was. This was, how much was this? 45 pence for a bag of rice, which is, it's a one kilogram bag, so, you know, that's gonna, I won't eat all of that in one week. So that's a, you know, that's a good staple there to have in any way, but that will be what my, most of my meals are based around this week. The final two things, this has got covered in broccoli, but never mind, so this... 
there are 15 free range eggs in there that cost me £1.20 they are mixed sizes so some of them are smaller than others but I thought for 15 of them again it gives me some options so I could do scrambled eggs I, so I could also do egg fried rice kind of one evening with things in it gives me a bit more options because there's that many and the final thing to talk about which is going to be kind of the main protein I suppose is I got these chicken drumsticks for £1.49 I think there's one there's 12 in that packet so they will be obviously the main component of my main meals so that's all I've got all together kind of show across a bit there and back and then I'll talk you through my shopping list I'll also put a kind of a price list up on here so this is this and then the beer price this is how much it cost so in total for all these things it cost me £8.78 so I went with £10 and I've actually come back with some change. So like I said, I wish I'd got some more bananas. I could have maybe got like some peanut butter or something for, you know, the healthy fats. But I didn't because I was wary that I didn't want to go over that £10 note. And actually, I got £1.22 in change. So I actually got change from that. So it's not quite £1 a day and it's not the £10 a week either. It's kind of in the middle. So I'll go through what my food is going to look like in terms of the menu for the week ahead. So I thought I would just talk you through my ideas for the menu plan for this for this week. Now this is just for me, this is not including my family but this I thought would be an interesting challenge. I am a bit apprehensive about it just because I generally eat more fruit and veg than this but we will see. So the majority of the meals you can see there are repetitive so I'm going to be eating the same things kind of all the way through the week. This meal plan is part of my meal planner which I'll leave a link below to if you want to have a look but anyway so breakfast are either going to be toast and jam or rice pudding <laughs> and jam that's you know there's no variety there and a cup of tea I always have to have a cup of tea in the morning I think I'll probably run out of milk before the end of the week but we'll we'll work that out when we can get there then lunches are slightly more various I've either got a scrambled egg on toast and a banana soup and bread I've got a jack potato and beans later on in the week and then I've got dippy eggs on the last day of that challenge so again lots of eggs but that should be filling in terms of you know they're more filling than other things i've got fruit for most of them as well so that's good in that sense then the meals are basically based around the chicken drumsticks for the majority so i'm going to just roast the chicken drumsticks and have them with rice and broccoli i've got that veggie curry that i talked about so that's going to be two nights and then the last day is whatever is left i'll just do like a you know there might be loads left there might be nothing left at all but we'll see that's just a let's make up with what we've got left um i'm hoping there should be some chicken left for example and there should be some eggs left i might do some kind of like egg fried rice with the chicken we'll see how that goes but and it's really repetitive i tend to eat the same things for breakfast anyway but i tend to eat porridge for breakfast I wouldn't generally start the day with bread and I definitely wouldn't start the day with bread and jam. However, you know, we're looking at a budget and that's what that came there. So that is my thoughts on the meal plan as I go through. Lunches might change slightly just because I feel like they might get a bit repetitive. I've also bought a tin of plum tomatoes. So I might have tomatoes on toast one day instead of eggs just for that change. Um, the soup. I'm hoping that the soup is nice. I don't tend to buy the savers soup. There's no reason for that. I just normally buy their kind of their own brand version, but we'll see how that goes. But that is the meal plan for the next seven days. Like I said, I'll leave a link below to that if you want to have a look at the meal planner. But yeah, that's my overall picture for this live on £10 a week budget challenge from Morrison's. Let me know what you think down below. Am I absolutely bonkers trying this? Do you have any suggestions on how to make that slightly more varied? Let me know in the comments below. And then look out for the second video where I am going to film throughout this week, show you my meals, talk about how I'm feeling and how I felt once it's all over. That will be up in kind of a week and a half's time once I've completed the challenge. But don't forget to look out for that. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the finale of this and I will see you again very soon.